how to stabilize the video footage that you record with your smartphone by using a 3-axis gimbal. Guys, awesome for tuning in on my channel. I provide lots of useful videos about audio, video equipment and stuff like that. And today I have the newer SB5 uh, stabilized gimbal. And that's really useful, uh, obviously, if you, you know the problem, if you have shot um, video footage with your smartphone before, usually it can be quite shaky. And yes, some smartphones, they maybe have some software image stabilization. However, that can also uh, introduce uh, unwanted, I mean, can de degrade your video footage if you use like software image stabilization or it gives you a crop factor. So with a gimbal like that, you should get a much better results. And let me quickly flip this around so you see a close up shot. I'm just going to test this new gimbal here, see the specifications with my uh, trusty uh, old iPhone. I mean, it's not totally old, but it's also not brand new. I think it's an iPhone SE. I mean, I'm not that much of a cell phone guy, a smartphone guy that shoots a lot with smartphones. I have like this professional camera gear, but obviously uh, before I get into gimbals, I just want to try something small. There are lots of different gimbals and uh, I'm going to have the opportunity to review some other models as well, maybe for some bigger DSLRs. But today I want to test this uh, newer gimbal with my iPhone SE. Uh, obviously, I read for some features. I think it's my understanding. Guys, uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure whether it's entirely right. But for some features, you may need a different model. Maybe I, what I can do, I can also look with you together into the handbook, see what uh, functions are supported. We can, because not everybody has the new smartphone necessarily. Maybe uh, or having the latest smartphone for some people that's important, for others not. So I'm just going to test this with the gear that I have right now. And then later on, uh, maybe I do a follow up video with maybe the most expensive iPhone. But uh, for right now, that's going to do for the test. Uh, I think it's a good test uh, for most people that watch my channel know already. This is the introductory part. In part two, I'm going to do an unboxing for you, show you what's inside that package, show you a few close up shots. That's always nice to see. And then uh, I think in part two B, we can prep the gimbal. I think you have to balance this, balance the gimbal first, uh, charge it up. Obviously charging it is important. And then in part three, most interestingly, I'm going to go outside. Then we can also do a side by side comparison. How does the footage look if you're just uh, shooting it with your hand and your smartphone? And then what happens if you put that on the gimbal and shoot the same footage again, just stabilized. And I think it's going to look a lot better. I think these uh, gimbals are really cool invention and can add a lot of production quality. Like I told you before, I know this from the digital cameras. If you use the software image stabilization or even if you correct the footage in your video editing software, usually if you stabilize that in a video, video editing software or in a camera, you zoom in a little bit. So let's say you want to do a vlog. Obviously, it's not that nice if the footage is zoomed in a little bit. And it's also not nice to have these uh, because the, the, the software stabilization can introduce some, it can degrade the footage a little bit. So uh, I can show you that in fact in the video editing software as well. Guys, I talked a lot. The introductory part is over. Let's get rolling with the unboxing and then uh, see how this gimbal performs. I'm excited. Let's test the newer gimbal. No, that's very exciting. My first gimbal. So let's have a quick uh, look at this. I put this here on the desk for you. So very interesting to see how this performs. Not sure whether it's all metal parts. Maybe there are some uh, other parts that are plastic, but on the flip side, that should make it definitely lighter. So you have uh, different manuals. In my case, a German one, English one, and then this uh, VIP card, like I also know from the newer microphones that I reviewed in the past. So let's put that to the side and have a closer look at the gimbal itself. Very plain packaging, so you don't have, let's say, like a carrying box, but that should be fine. Uh, as it comes to the charging, obviously, let me zoom in a little bit for you here. It's a little bit too far zoomed out, so nicely zoomed in. You charge this uh, gimbal for your smartphone via USB. There's a charging port right here at the side. That's something you can use. And I think here's even like a standard USB port that you potentially could use as well. For me, the most interesting part is, are you going to pair this with the smartphone via Bluetooth or something like this so that you can use this as a shutter or to start the recording? That would be kind of interesting. Right here, obviously, that feels like plastic. It's plastic, but it's relatively lightweight so that I think it's going to make it comfortable for vlogging. Here you can control it. 
The important part is that you should balance it before even switching it on. So you decide how to put the cell phone on here. Let me quickly grab my iPhone. So you can just pull this out to the side. Very usual setup, you just slide it right in and then either you use it like this, but I actually would like to use it sideways. So I'm quickly gonna turn this around and balance it and then charge it. So let me quickly uh, have a look at the manual and then I'm gonna do, because there are also some safety precautions in here. So you, do, you should not use the, don't leave that gimbal inside your car. The battery could get hot. You don't wanna cause a fire or anything. So let me quickly balance this and I'm gonna be right back and show you how this looks. You use the QR cord and go down and download the app. That's pretty easy to do. You just uh, grab your cell phone right here open the camera app and then you go down scan the qr code sorry guys i have to do this with one hand and then you can click on that and that should lead you to the app store so i'm quickly downloading the app and once you have that this gimbal pro app uh, you can start it and uh, you don't have to download it after you balance uh, the apps uh, balance the phone on your gimbal so this app actually enables you a face tracking and B, you can also fine tune your gimbal setting, how fast it should react or how slow it should react. So that's really useful to do with the app by pairing the gimbal with your smartphone. So let's quickly balance it. Now balancing the gimbal should be fairly easy. Obviously it will vary a little bit based on what phone you have. There's like a, this adjustment a mechanism right here. I just left it almost the way it came from the factory. And then I just put in my old iPhone SE. And then obviously if you have a heavier phone, you probably would push it all the way there. But I have the iPhone SE. The, the main part that you have to keep in mind, it should not be like this. And it should also not be like this. So I just moved it a little bit uh, to a point that it's almost horizontal. It doesn't have to be 100% exact, but yeah, I mean, you get the point. And once you've done that, you can just go ahead and push the on button. It takes one, two, three and then the gimbal starts right up. And as you can see here, I have charged the battery full, three indicator lights, and the flashing light is there's no Bluetooth connection. So that's why I told you the ideal thing. Obviously I can use it already, move it sideways uh, and up and down and stuff like that. So that works pretty well. So let, let's get uh, this quickly back into the position for the recording and then just go in here and start the app and obviously you want to make sure it has connected to the gimbal you just click connect obviously the bluetooth has to be turned on and as soon as you have a solid blue light you're ready to go the gimbal is paired and you can uh, use a variety of settings so let me quickly switch to the video mode i switched over to the video mode and as you can see uh, one cool feature for example that i can enable is the face tracking you just push that button down here and there's a face tracking mode i hit the face tracking mode and right now it should look for my face. So if I go in front of it, a triangle, a yellow triangle should appear. And if I move to the side, as you can see, obviously the gimbal is following me in various directions. So that's pretty cool. That's one feature you can use. And uh, yeah, even with my old iPhone SE, the face tracking feature works great. Now, other than that, let me quickly zoom in a little bit more for you here so that you see a close up shot. Obviously, you can change a variety of settings inside the app. For example, here you see the three settings, the follow all, horizontal and lock mode. Obviously, you can do this also with a push of a button down here. I showed you, you switch through here, but here it's all highlighted once more. And in a settings mode right down here, you can do some additional things to the gimbal. I think there was also a function to update the firmware. So you see the configuration, what you can do how fast it should react, slow, medium, fast. You can uh, tune that to your level. You can do a calibration. So that's very nice. So that's why I really recommend uh, download the app and use that as well. And if I go into the recording mode, you see there's also, you can uh, use, I think, filters. You can uh, display grid, video resolution. I guess this uh, depends based on what phone you have and what resolutions your phone supports. But overall, uh, that's uh, the app and how to pair it. Why don't we just go out and then I'm going to shoot some test footage once with the gimbal and once without so that you can see the gimbal in action. So guys, right now this is the test, uh, filming some vlogging footage on my iPhone without the gimbal on my old iPhone SE. And you can see I have to stretch out my arm all the way and the footage still comes out shaky. 
So I already know this is going to be somewhat suboptimal and with a stabilized gimbal you're always going to get far superior results. Obviously if you have a, like a really uh, calm hand or if you grab it maybe slightly differently you probably still be able to produce reasonable footage that's somehow watchable and you can stabilize it a little bit in post but if you stabilize in post always you have to crop in a little bit so i think the gimbal should be beneficial in both ways because you're further out you have it stabilized and you still have the option to stabilize it in post so this concludes the test without the gimbal and let's now test it with the gimbal Terrific guys, so right now I'm gonna do exactly the same walk with the newer gimbal and as you can see Even the face tracking works great. It follows my face So I'm can really focus on vlogging and also the newer gimbal ain't isn't too heavy So it's a relatively light gimbal. You can hold it in your hand comfortably It stabilizes the image you can use it with different smartphones of your choice and uh, yeah, I just have the budget iPhone SE and old iPhone, but obviously there are newer models that shoot 4k so you can imagine the possibilities uh, And yeah, I mean the higher the resolution the more you could potentially even smooth out the picture in post uh, I think a really nice invention those gimbals nice to play around with for I don't know what it's worth the price uh, definitely worth trying out and playing around a little bit with um, and once you're comfortable with your smartphone gimbal, you maybe once one day step it up to a DSLR gimbal or something for your mirrorless system. So let's shoot some more stabilized footage and then we jump to part four, the summary and conclusion. And guys, uh, let me quickly shoot some additional footage to show off the gimbal on how stable it really is. And I really have to say, I'm impressed. I mean, if you consider the price point, you can get really nice stabilized footage with your iPhone or Android device and uh, it works great. I even have a zoom wheel, holy crap. So that's really interesting. The gimbal gives you quite a lot of, lot of flexibility. You have different options how you can use it. You have the face tracking and it's really smooth. Even someone in the park asked me about the gimbal, showed quite the interest. So uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna get noticed if you walk around with that gimbal shooting some footage. So I think this concludes the outside test of this uh, newer gimbal. And yeah guys, I couldn't resist to shoot some additional footage. So I think this concludes the test of the newer gimbal. Obviously I'm pretty impressed uh, given the low price point, what kind of technology you can get here. And it really makes your footage really smooth. And obviously you can pull out uh, a little bit further from the image. And uh, if the stabilization of the gimbal itself is not good enough, you can always add in some stabilization in post, which if you do handhold footage, that's uh, sort of, I think, not really possible because as soon as you do close in, uh, the additional stabilization in post always adds some crop. So guys, this concludes the test of the newer gimbal. I'm signing off and I see you in part four, the summary and conclusion. Terrific, this concludes the review of this newer smartphone gimbal that I've tested for you outside. And as you have seen in the park, uh, handhold footage looks not as stable as when you put it on a gimbal. And the gimbal actually performed quite nicely given the fact that it's an entry-level gimbal. Obviously, there are different manufacturers and there are also bigger gimbals for uh, DSLRs and mirrorless systems. This is particularly for the smartphone. I showed you how to download the app. You can pair this with iOS and Android devices and download it with the QR code. Oh, while at first I was not completely sure whether the iPhone SE would work with the face tracking feature, that was also very useful to have that face tracking feature. If you take the gimbal uh, into your hand and you have the smartphone on there and you pair it via Bluetooth, as I have shown you in the configuration part, then if you move around, the gimbal can follow you. I mean, will follow you. And that's uh, kind of useful because that way you're always sure you are in the shot if you're vlogging. Also at first I was not sure what this wheel was for, but this wheel is for zooming in and zooming out. So be careful not to touch this accidentally. Um, depending on your smartphone quality and resolution, obviously the iPhone SA is not the newest iPhone. There are better ones obviously that can, re can record in 4K. So you can zoom in and out here and obviously also control the movement manually if you don't want to use the uh, auto tracking function. All in all, very interesting. It's the first time for me to use a gimbal. 
Uh, here you have like this trigger button. You can start the recording and stop recording with the push of a button. That's also kind of interesting. The gimbal has a total of three modes that you can pick. Let me quickly show this to you here. I think the first one is called AF. That's what I was using. So all the axles are, uh, axes are balanced and you can switch between these three modes if you want to create a certain, let's say, cinematic effect. So I encourage you to play around with these modes. Otherwise, this concludes the review. Let me know what other gimbals you maybe want to see. Uh, then maybe I can test some for my uh, digital mirrorless cameras. That would be kind of interesting to see uh, how this uh, footage comes out with a little bit better gear uh, instead of just with my old smartphone. Guys, awesome for tuning in. If you want, head over to my channel page. I can show this to you here. I have a bunch of play playlists for microphones, audio equipment, video equipment, or also my video editing computer that I recently upgraded. I know you have learned something new and I see you as a subscriber in the next video. Take care. And because you just watched the review of the newer gimbal to shoot stabilized footage with your smartphone, you might also be interested in comparing different other parts of equipment such as audio interfaces that I have reviewed for, uh, for you on my channel. Uh, guys, I have the playlists on my channel page, audio equipment, video equipment. You can just uh, learn how to create better content. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.